All right, so we have gone back and fixed our function that um, extracts the data, and get, we have the right data now. So now let's do some um, some analysis on this data. Um, I really like if we if we look at pi pivoted, um, the shape of this. It's uh, 24 hours by 1600 days. Transposing this, um, an interesting thing is that uh, we could actually view this as each day as like a, an observation, and each observation consists of 24 hours. And we can start to think about what um, the days are in relationship to each other. And one of the ways that I want to take a look at this is to use um, scikit-learn and do a PCA, a principal component analysis, and reduce this dimensionality so we can kind of plot the days and see how they work together. So let's do um, uh, from sklearn.decomposition import PCA. And then we can do something like PCA2. We want, we want two components. And let's, um, we need to get this data into a NumPy array. So let's do x equals pivoted.t.values. Values is as as an array, and, and sh the shape of x is now this 1610 array. So let's, let's fit the PCA to x. Um, and oh, we get, we get a, an error. What is it? Uh, there's a non or infinity. Oh, so there, there's some missing data, I guess, in our, in our X array. So we can do um, fill na zero. So we'll fill the na, val the na missing values with zeros there. And then we get um, this PCA2.fit X. And OK, so there's a, there's a warning coming. This is because the PCA is using a, the random solver. So let's try instead doing the SVD solver equals uh, dense, I think. And we get that. So it's solved. And now um, if we want, instead of fitting, let's fit transform the x. And we'll get the, the two-dimensional x out. And we run that. And um, oh, man, another error. Oh, interesting. So th this is. Uh, this looks like it's something, some bug in scikit-learn itself um, where this self.fit underscore fit, this private method, is returning a none type where it should return u, s, and v. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is a bug in scikit-learn. Um, import sklearn, sklearn.version. So I'm using, yeah, I'm, I'm using the most recent scikit-learn. So this might actually be a bug in, in the code base. Let's, let's see. Um, GitHub.com, scikit-learn, scikit-learn. Um, and where is this happening? It's happening in decomposition slash PCA line 310. Let's look at that. Decomposition. Where is my decomposition? Yeah. PCA. And um, it's u comma s comma v equals self dot fit t. So this fit is returning a none when it shouldn't. And why is that happening? Um, where are the return values? So this is the function. Ah, look. So so if the solver is full, it's returning this. If the solver is one of these, it's returning this. And there's no else statement here. There's nothing. If if the solver is wrong, if I put in something that it shouldn't be. And I put in, what did I put in? I put in dense. Yeah, so dense, oh, I, I meant to put in full, but I put in dense. But that input isn't validated, so there's actually an issue here, and it's returning none, because an empty Python function returns none. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bug in scikit-learn master. Well, um, OK, I, I was going to show you this data analysis, but why don't I show you opening a uh, pull request in SciPy to fix a bug. This will be pretty fun. Um, so let's see. I need, a, I need a, a new tab. I think I keep my stuff in open source slash scikit-learn. Um, let's see what branch I'm on. I'm a master, so let's get pull upstream master. So that'll, that'll get me up to date with the scikit-learn uh, master. Uh, and I'm going to get checkout um, fix PCA validation. Um, I'm going to check out a check out a new branch called PCA validation. Now I can um, as guess K learns so decomposition slash PCA. Uh, yeah, so let's go down there and we're at this USV equals fit. 
we want to go into the fit, and so we need to validate this. So basically, we're going to say else, if, if none of this is wrong, we want to raise a value error um, and say um, unrecognized SVD solver equals, um, and uh, I'm going to format um, SVD solver. So, yeah, I haven't I haven't tested this and running running the test to make sure this actually is is valid code will take a while because the test suite takes a while. But I'm just going to say as so evaluator is spelled right, um, that format is spelled right. SVD solver is actually a variable that exists, and I spelled that right. So I'm pretty confident that that change is okay. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get status. What have I modified here? Yeah, so the only thing I've modified there is um, that. So let's get at sklearn slash decomposition slash PCA, commit um, bug uh, fix SVD solver validation in PCA, PCA dot fit. Um, sure, that looks good. So git log, I'm going to make sure that's there. Yep, bug fix PCA. Git branch, I'm on this uh, fix PCA validation branch. So let's get push origin fix PCA validation. Um, so I pushed that up to GitHub. So now if I go back to back to the scikit-learn, GitHub is nice because it, it will tell you if you've just pushed a branch, it, um, hmm, did that not work? Let's try going to uh, Jake VDP scikit learn. Hmm, it should have, should have recognized that my branch went up there. Oh, there it is, it found it. So I'm gonna compare and pull a request. Uh, so this is, they have this whole template here, but I, don't use that myself. So um, minor issue, um, the SVD solver argument was not being validated. Okay, this should fix it. Okay, so I'll create the pull request there. Cool. So just checking that files change. Yeah, it just has my little um, my little edit there. Um, someone's probably going to come back and ask me to write a, a unit test to uh, just to make sure that this issue doesn't come up again. Um, but I'll I'll leave this here for now. And um, yeah, so I guess that's enough for this video. But when we come back, um, I will use the correct SVD solver and actually start exploring this data again. But this is kind of fun that I was able to show you uh, an scikit-learn bug fix in real time. All right, thanks very much.